Hi everybody. Thank you for joining for those um, replay viewers who are coming in later. I wanted to say hi to you guys. This is Deborah with Salvage Sister and Mister. Hi everybody. And I'm just going to show you what's on the blog today. Um, I'm waiting to unplug my phone. My battery's a little low. Does anybody else have trouble with their battery all the time? Or am I the only one? I swear, like, all the time I'm having problems with my battery. So, um, this is our master bedroom, and up on the blog today is um, a faux chandelier. Hi, Barb. Let me see. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, so, like I said, this is our master bedroom, and... Um, if you guys follow me on, thank you, if you guys follow me on um, Instagram under Salvage Sista, um, my gangster name, <laughs> um, you guys know that uh, some of those pillows are from Goodwill. I just treat them before I put them on my bed. Um, but this one is the one that everybody thought I was crazy on that I got at Goodwill. And I love it. It's one of my favorite pillows. Um, Hey, Rhonda. Thank you. So here we go. Um, so first, I'm going to tell you guys that um, I love a good chandelier, but it hasn't been like forever that I've loved chandeliers. And so um, our budget's pretty tight. Um, oh, hi, Gary. So um, our budget's kind of tight. And so you know, it's like, do you save up for a chandelier? And it might be something that you're not going to want six months later. Does anybody else do that? Like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to want this like forever. So I don't really want to spend the money. And because they're so popular, they're hard to find used. So my concept, and I do have to tell you that the mister is not 100% sold on chandeliers either. So it's hard for me to spend the money when it's not something that he's like totally cool with. So my um, thought was, I saw a $5 um, light fixture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, I'm a restore freak. I love the restore. I live there. They know me like really, really well. Um, Ron <laughs> is the manager there. So anyway, so I did go to the restore and... Um, I found um, like kind of a dining room light fixture that is kind of standard and I put it up and I liked it but I wanted the more chandelier look so I'm going to show you guys what I did and it's up on the blog today and I just and it's super simple and it's not a chandelier but it gives me the effect of it um, without the money because I couldn't spend you know, see spending $150. And if you can and you want to, that's great. It's just not within my budget. And that's something that I need to do is stick within my budget. So I'm going to show you here. See my cute little mirror fixture over there? I like that too. Mr. was kind of a little uncertain whether um, he liked it, but I like it. Okay, so here's the chandelier I'm going to try and get. So I just added some um, crystal um, oh gosh, what's the, the chains? I just added some crystal chains to them. And then I did the teardrops and I added those to that. And then I changed out the light bulbs. So the, the fixture was like five bucks. And then the chain was like six to eight dollars, something like that. And then the teardrops were like eight dollars. And so for like 20 in fact, I think the light bulbs really were more expensive than anything else. So, um, so for, um, yeah, you know what? It kind of dresses it up and it gives the look that I was looking for. And, um, you know, it's just way more within our budget. $20. The light bulbs, I think, were more expensive. So the crystals I got on Amazon. And, um, in fact, I did see... After 33 days, I did see the one on Amazon, and they were still out of my price range. So this was within my price range. About $20 is where I wanted to stay for something that I know, um, you know, 
hubby wasn't like spend a lot of money on. And, um, you know, this was just right within my, my wheelhouse of, um, cash. So I'm going to back up here a little bit so I can show you kind of the look. Um, yeah, the light bulbs were totally a little bit more expensive than, but I mean, you have to get light bulbs. So, um, like I said, I mean, it's not a totally, hi Jeannie. It's not a, a pure chandelier, um, but this is my faux crystal chandelier. And I think it looks really pretty with the little mirror um, background over there. And while we're here, so anyways, um, it's up on the blog today. And I give the links to um, where the crystal um, chains and then the teardrops that I got. Because I was having trouble finding them for a reasonable price, like at... Um, Michaels and stuff. The drapes are actually from Target. You know, I went to, um, thank you. Hi, Karen. So I went to um, Lowe's a couple of different times and I was having trouble because I wanted longer drapes and these needed to be 92 or something and our Lowe's wasn't um, carrying them um, that length. And so I got these at Target for 20, I think they were $22. And that's, again, within my price range. I like the 20 price range. Anybody else a 20s girl? I miss you too. Thank you. I like the crystals too. You know what? It's kind of one of those things. Here's the deal with, with um, this. Here's the reason why I like it. I like it because it kind of gives me that look of what I'm looking for without the money. But the deal is, is that I can take these crystals off if I get tired of this and I can use it for another project, which I'm all about the repurpose, my friends. Anybody else repurposers? So I know that if I can um, take that, the crystals off and use it for something else, then I feel like a little bit better about it. Okay, so the other thing I was going to show you guys is I was going to um, uh, show you the mirror, the salvaged mirror that we did, um, if you saw that up on the blog. But we took a Goodwill mirror. Um, oh, good. Okay. You know what? Here's the deal. The thing is, is that you can change the chandelier, and then if you don't like it, you can do something else. So, um Okay, so the salvaged mirror was a Goodwill mirror for $9 that um, the mister went ahead and did a frame. And there's a full tutorial on there that you don't have to pay for if you want to make it. So I'm super happy with it. And I'm going to pan around here. There's hubby slippers. Okay, so there's the mirror. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Yay for repurposing. That's the story of my life. Okay. So um, he made that barbed love, um, or the love sign up there out of barbed wire. So that was totally free. And like my cute little dec decorative fan there, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, so um, anyway, so the mirror, he did a beveled edge to it. And we just used some, um, we actually had a fence that um, blew down. And so he used some of that wood. And then, um, yeah, it is a real life, real life home. Um, and so he did the beveled edge there, if you can see, right in there. And then, um, and so we had some salvaged wood and then he did the, um, yeah, the fan is really cute. And then he, and then we found some other just salvaged wood and, um, and you like the brown door back there? That's going to change. I think I'm painting it black, you guys. I'm. We got another door. Um, yeah, we're scrappy, too. Um, we got another door um, with the panes. I'll show you what the other bedroom door looks like here. So we got a door like this for the bathroom that we've got to put up. And then um, we're going to do black. It's like a charcoal black on there. Um, you're going to do a stain on yours. Okay, good. All right, Jeannie. What does the number mean? Oh, the numbers are our anniversary. I'll pan around there. I was actually going to do a blog post and I wasn't going to show you, but now I see that it's um, it's in the mirror. So I'm going to pan around here. There's my little seating area. There's the little um, curtain I made out of the um, drop cloth. Um, super easy. I don't have sewing skills. You guys, I am not 
The jewelry hooks are were for Tuesday morning. Um, the I don't have a lot of DIY skills. Like I just I am kind of um like low to medium in my skill level. So um I had uh some people help me get my sewing machine that I got a yard sale for 10 bucks up and going. Um and yes, I love Tuesday morning too, Karen. And um so I just did a simple hem on that and we have some hooks there. If you can see, well, it's kind of hard to see, but we just clipped them on with hooks so it just pulls back. And it's really, really nice. No, you know what? I really don't have a lot of DIY sk skills. What I have is more of um, like just cheap skills. <laughs> like, how can I do this cheap? And like, I get inspired by things, but um, I don't have like, like, you know, busting out the saws and things like that. I don't have a lot of that skills. I have a lot of ideas. I am very, I have a lot of ideas. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. Woo -woo. Okay. N yeah, Jeannie, you have a lot of skills. See, I don't have a lot of skills like that. Okay, so this is our anniversary and the numbers don't exactly match, which is exactly like me. I am quirky and um, so uh, hubby made that for me. And so I'll put that up on uh, the blog zone. And so this is the door that we're going to change. It's going to be, I think, black is what, the way I'm going to go. Uh, like I said, a charcoal. I think it will look nice because that wall is white and the rest is gray. I don't know if you can tell. And I think a white door is going to wash that out. So I think black is going to be super cool there. At least that's the way I'm hoping, right? So this is our room. I'll kind of give you a panorama here. And that's that. We've had this furniture since we, yeah, I think it's going to look nice. We had this furniture since um, we were married, and I'm not, that's going to be 21 years uh, in September. And I'm not really super excited about the color now because it's not like, you know, this color isn't the best. But you know what? I'm not going to paint it and then want to change it later. I just feel like I kind of deal with what it is because it's a nice piece of furniture yeah I don't know if I want to paint it and then and then I'll just decorate around it so I feel like between the shade and it brings in there's the yellowish brown colors on the bed I feel like it kind of picks up the tones from the bedroom furniture and I'm like oh that's all right I don't think I really want to paint it um so anyways all right guys well if you have any questions, like always, feel free to um, pop over the blog. You can leave a comment for me over there. I'm going to switch this around for a minute just so I can say hi, maybe. Okay, I'm giving myself hearts. It won't switch around for me. All right. Yeah. I just don't, you know, it's a lot of work to paint, and I just don't think I want to paint it. So thanks, Karen. Thank you, Jeannie. All right, guys, thanks so much for hopping on, and I've loved seeing everybody's periscopes, and I was trying to switch it around so I could say hi, but it's not letting me switch around, so some of you saw me in the mirror, but um, anyways, thanks so much for the hearts. Really, really appreciate it. Love seeing you guys, and we'll talk soon. Bye.